Welcome to the demonstration video for the Kid Coder Windows Programming course. In this short video, we're going to show you some of the things that your students can accomplish in this course. All of our courses come with self-study student textbooks, and these are designed to make your students really enjoy their computer experience. Students will use their textbooks and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. This combination of textbook and hands-on experience really lets them see their work come to life as they learn about computer programming. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem! We have solution guides and files which give you everything you need to assist your student as they work through the course. Our solution files contain tests, answer keys, and complete solutions for all of the student activities. Worried that computer programming might be too hard for your student? Watch as we create a program in just a few seconds. This is the Microsoft Visual Basic Express software, which is a free download from Microsoft, and this is the software that we use in this course. So here I have a screen open on the screen, and I'm just going to add a button. You can see I have a list of different tools here that I can add. To add my button, all I do is just choose the button and drag it to the screen. And now I have a button on my screen. Now if I wanted to change the text of the button, I can go over here to the Properties window, find the text property, and I can change that to say, click here. And now when I click on the form, it changes to click here. Now to add some code to this button, I'm just going to double click on it, and then I'm going to add a simple line of code. I'm going to say message box, hello there, and that's just going to put up a message box on the screen with my message hello there. Now to run my program, it's as easy as finding the play button and clicking on it. And here is my program. If I click on the button, it says hello there. So that's how easy it can be to create a program in Visual Basic. Now let's take a look at the last hands-on course activity. In this activity, your student will actually complete a simple game. This is the My Pong game, which is based on the old Pong arcade game of the 1970s and the 1980s. We use this game as a final project because it allows us to wrap up many of the programming concepts taught in the course into a single fun program. Here, the student will be using variables, graphics, text, mouse movements, and decision logic to complete the game. We now offer optional instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson in the textbook. Now, while these video lessons are not a replacement for the textbook, they are ideal for students who learn better with audio or visual enforcement of the material. Each video lasts about 5 to 10 minutes, and it will describe the lesson concepts with graphics, animation, and some live action video. After your student completes the first semester Windows programming course, they can move on to our second semester course, Game Programming. Here, they'll learn how to create games that have animations, sound, and even artificial intelligence. If your student is interested in both courses, you can combine the two into our popular Year Pack. This option provides an affordable, year-long computer science elective. If you need any more information, or if you have additional questions, you can contact us through our website by clicking on the contact link at the top of our homepage. We're always happy to answer questions via email as well. Thanks for watching.